Hi there, my name is Colin Burke and welcome back to channel. This is a game review of the demo of Ren Renoir, R-E-N-O-I-R, -E uh, an indie noir puzzle game. Uh, the developer is Black Wing Foundation, the publisher is Fulcrum Publishing, came out in 2016, it's got mixed reviews and it's currently for £6.99 on Steam. Uh, single player achievements and trading cards for Windows um, 7 to 10. Uh, Renoir is a story-driven puzzle platformer that draws inspiration from classic 1940s film noir. Detective James Renoir has but a single shot to crack one hell of a case, his own murder. So what I'll do is I'm going to go through the uh, options and then I'll do the gameplay and then afterwards I'll do a review so you can kind of select the thing that you want to watch first if need be. So what I will say straight away is when you start the game up, if you're installing it, um, there's the usual things, you know, like sometimes it installs direct text, sometimes it installs I don't know, some of the weird, wonderful stuff that you probably think, oh, whatever, I'll install it, whatever. But the Unreal uh, and Epic Gaming box popped up, asking me if I agree to all these third-party things. I was like, what the hell? I've never had this before. I cancelled that, and the game still started up. And I had to agree with the firewall thing. And I was like, okay, fine. So I haven't installed whatever the hell it was that they wanted me to install. So there you go. If you have that, you can avoid that. I assume, I don't know. So uh, I have dropped the audio down. I'll go through that in a minute. So the graphics are here. The audio was on 100. I've actually dropped it to about 50. There's no music, it's typical, isn't it? <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm dropping that to about 50. The controls are the WSA and D as usual. Escape to pause, jump is space, crouch, E to interact, shift. And then there's this ghost selection, which I have no idea what the hell that is. Tab and tab. And enter, I have no idea how that would work. So I'm going to, um, what's general? Oh, let's put subtitles on. Nothing worse than not having subtitles on if you can't hear what the hell they're saying. I've, I've played a few games where you can hear this like, in the background, like, what the hell are they saying? And then the music booms out and really deafened. So let's apply that one. So I've got the audio, I'm going to put that back to about 50. This was music, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Here we go. Watch it crash on me because I haven't installed whatever it was that they asked me to install. Oh, please, God, no. <laughs> oh. You know, they got a saying in the city. You're never really untouchable until you're dead. I always knew burning a candle from both ends would put me in the ground sooner or later. The thing is, I always figured being dead would be the end of my problems. It's like having a hangover you can't shake. You know something happened the night before, but can't quite put it together. Every time you think about it, you feel like you're gonna pass out. We'll close the case on this one. On the other hand, clearly I'm not that lucky. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, I hate to run. What's that mean? 
Is that safe? Oh. <sighs> Come on, really? The guy lives a good life and now he's dead crawling around a cemetery. Okay. The hell's that? Is that me? Oh yeah, yeah, look, look, I see myself there. <laughs> My god, you see that? Look, 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 look I'm, gonna, I'm gonna crouch. Check me out. this no oh, this is a bit bizarre I assume I'm supposed to go up here I don't know Oh no, he's supposed to be doing it so he's removing the light area. I'm still not sure what's going on here, but I'm starting to see how I can use it. I guess I should thank someone for not fixing these. Okay. Man, dead guy can't catch a break. Okay, so... Well, what was that? Oh, I didn't mean that. that. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to do that. Just pay with me. I have to get this out of here again now. It's 
not exactly what I was expecting. Hang on a second. Oh, enter. I forgot that, yeah. Playback again now. What was playback record? Start a ghost selection. Start the ghost recording. Stop the ghost recording. Playback. That's what I thought I just did. But the, how does he do that? Um, but I did this before, and I can't remember how you. Yeah, I know that. Now, how do I... Oh, there we go. a bit going, I must admit. Alright. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> uh, talk to yourself. Hang on, mate. I might be able to do this without actually... But it, this is what confuses me. I can't stand how... Because I've already done this. And then you record it. Alright. And then you stop recording. And then according to this... Stop recording, and then you play back the recording by press enter, right? Oh my god. Right. 
Thanks for the lift. Down. All oh, right, so down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's two. And then press enter. Wait, what the fuck is he doing? So now it should come down. Now if I go up... Oh no, I don't want to be up, do I? I want to be down. Or do I want to be down? Let's have a look up here. I'm going to stop in a minute because I, I can see how this is going to be a good game. There we go. Good old fashioned teamwork. Okay, I'm gonna uh, let's just go to your audio a second. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Um I can see how this game is good. It takes you a while to figure it out. You've got to, got to keep ugh, get my teeth in. You've got to remember you've got to press enter and enter and then spa uh, tab and then whatnot. And the image at the top here is the one that's quite useful for you to figure out how many characters you need, how many ghosts you need, and stuff. Um, it's I would say it takes a little bit of getting used to. So you can get used to how these the ghost move along and how you can actually do it. I think after you've mastered that quite well, then you'll be, you know, zipping along quite merrily. Um, it's more than just a typical noir game. I mean, I've played a few. Uh, I played one that was pretty awful, but I sort of go down that road again. But, you know, some of them are like this, and they're, they're, they're fine. Um, but this is good. This has got a bit more of a depth to it. And uh, using different ghosts as it were to record it. I, I think I've done something similar to this. It was a actually it was Shuggy. What the hell am I talking about? It was Adventures of Shuggy had something like this time motion thing. Um, so they are quite useful. But this one's quite hard to kind of master. You kind of got to remember to press the keys in a certain order, otherwise you get like make one I'm like, well I don't understand why I've just pressed it. Why is it not moving? 
Uh, why is he? Why is he moved? And then you just stay. I mean, I don't know why he just stayed on the ladder because that's not what I recorded. Um, do I recommend the game? Yeah, I do actually. I, I think if you enjoy puzzle games and you enjoy something a little bit more different, then you'll enjoy this one. Um, it'll probably drive you mad at the beginning to get used to it, but once you've got you know mastered the the, the keys and stuff and how to actually record and that, you'll you'll probably enjoy it. It'll, it'll, it'll go quite well. Um, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this game review of the demo of Renoir. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of other game reviews out there. Uh, loads of adventure sort of puzzle games. Uh, loads of indie games. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment in the comment box below. Have you played this game? Did you master it quite well or was it kind of a bit clunky like me? Okay, thank you and goodbye.